Now, in this video, that is part 6 of class in mathematics first chapter, real numbers, we are going to learn how to find the HCF of two or more numbers using Euclid's division lemma and also solve some problems given in do this in textbook page number 4 in class in mathematics. And to start with, first we need to know what is HCF. HCF means highest common factor and we need also to revise the conditions and equation we learned about Euclid's division lemma in the previous 5 videos. And the first and very most important is the equation that is a is equal to b into q plus r. We write the Euclid's division lemma equation a is equal to b into q plus r. And the condition for the reminder that is 0 is less than or equal to or less than b. And the divisional form a is divided by b. A by b and a is always greater than b. To find the value of a and b, we have a is always greater than b. And now we read the question. In do this, find the HCF of the following using Euclid's division lemma. That means the following numbers. And the first question is 50 and 70. So we need to find the HCF of the 50 and 70. First we need to know what is a and what is b in this question. And for that we have a condition that is a is always greater than b. So the greater number becomes a and the smaller number becomes b. So in solution we write a is always greater than b. So a is equal to 70 and b is equal to 50 as 70 is greater than 50. And now we write the Euclid's division lemma equation according to Euclid's division lemma. I am using shortcut here but you need to write the full equation in the examination. And the equation a is equal to b into q plus r and always highlight it. And now to find we have to divide the numbers, the divisional form that is a by b. So we write a by b is equal to 70 by 50. So we need to divide this number. First we divide the number. We write 70 here and 50. And all those are 50 ones are 50. So we write here 1 here 50. and minus. 70 minus 50 is 20. So we write here 20. And here the reminder didn't become 0. So we continue the division. As we are going to find the HCF here, the division becomes somehow different. That is, here the reminder becomes the divisor. As the reminder here doesn't become equal to 0, we continue the division. First we write this a, b, q and all values in the equation a is equal to b into q plus r. For this we denote it's b, it's a, it's q and it's r. Now we substitute the values. The value of a is 70 and the value of b is equal to 50. We add them here. 70 equal to 50 and the quotient is 1 into 1 plus what is the reminder? Reminder value is 20. So we write here 20. And the condition is LHS should be equal to RHS. Then only our equation or the values are correct. And here it is 70. LHS is 70 and 50 into 1 is 50. 50 plus 20 is 70. So 70 becomes equal to 70. So the LHS is equal to RHS. And now as here the reminder did not become equal to 0. So we continue the process until the reminder becomes 0. And when the reminder becomes 0, the value of B here becomes the HCF of the two numbers. That's the root condition to find the HCF. And again here we take 20 as the divisor and this number 50 becomes the dividend. You know the 22 is on 40. So we write here 2, here 40 and minus 50 minus 40 is 10. The reminder become equal to 10. And here also the reminder didn't become equal to 0. But we write these values as their continuous. And how to know that here what is the value of A and what is the value of B again. We need to take these values again until the reminder becomes 0. So here there are two numbers. As we have already divided the 70, we doesn't involve 70 in the second step. So we left out the 70. Only take these two numbers 50 and 
20. What is the bigger? What is the bigger value in 50 and 20? 50. So we take here 50. And the 20 becomes the divisor. So we write here 20 in the same way. In these values, after one number is divided, in these values, the B and R, the bigger number becomes 50. And the smaller number R becomes B. So we write here B is equal to 20, A is equal to 50. So we continue the process. We have already done this. It becomes B, it becomes A, it becomes Q, and it becomes R. So we substitute these values here. 22 is 40, remind is 10. And here also the remainder didn't become 0. So we continue the process again. And we continue this process again. Let me write it here. 10 and here the 20 becomes the dividend. So we write here 20 and all of the 10 twos are 20. So 20 minus 20 is 0. And here the remainder became 0. And we substitute these values here. And here again as the remainder didn't become equal to 0 it becomes A and it becomes B. So we write 20 is equal to 10. 10 twos are 20. And 20 minus 20 is 0. So the remainder becomes equal to 0. And here the remainder became 0. When the remainder becomes 0 in this equation, while computing the HCF of the two numbers while continuing the division, when the remainder becomes 0, and at that point the value of B, that is 10. So the value of B becomes the HCF. When the remainder is 0, the value of B becomes HCF. So the HCF. of 50 and 70 is 10. So this is a way to find the HCF of the two numbers using Richter's division number. As we are doing it for the first time, we did the division. Division process and then we write here to clearly understand or to check the answer. If we did in this way, to check the answer at the final stage, we can do this and then check. In the next two problems, we are not going to do the division. We can find the HCF using Euclid's division of my equation directly. Now we are going to solve the second question in this. And the problem is to find the HCF of the two numbers 96 and 72. First we need to know what is A and what is B. A is always greater than B. So the greater number becomes A. The greater number here is 96. So the value of A is equal to 96. The value of B is equal to 70. It's very easy to find out the HCF of these two numbers. And we write the Euclid division lemma equation according to Euclid division lemma. The equation is A is equal to B into Q plus O. And now we substitute these values. A is 96, B is 72 and 72 1s are 72, it is less than 96 but 72 2s are becomes greater than 96. We take, so we take 72 1s, 72 into 1 that is 72. So 96 minus 72, we are doing this directly and 96 minus 72, what is the value of 96 minus 72 that is 24. So the remainder becomes 24. And here also the remainder didn't become equal to 0. It is 24. Remainder is 24. It didn't become equal to 0. So we continue the process by taking 72 and 24. So we write here 72 as the greater number and 24 here. 24 1s are 24. 24 2s are 48. 24 3s are 72. So directly 24 3s become 72. So we write here. 24 into 3, 72. 72 minus 72 is 0. So here the remainder became equal to 0. As here the remainder became equal to 0, the value of B, you know, it's A, it's B, it's Q, and it's O. As here the remainder became equal to 0, the value of B, that is 24, becomes the HCF of 96 and 72. So we write here, HCF of 96 and 72 is 24.
Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, share, like, comment for more videos. Please don't forget to press bell icon.